He was in Blade Trinity. Okay, but fucking Black Panther, like, I'm we really hyped for this fucking movie. I'm sitting oh, here every time. I'm hype as shit, but people are saying, oh, Marvel's being so progressive when everybody should be saying, because why didn't you do it again? Well, because, why did it take wait, 20 years? Wait, Blade was the black guy. <laughs> yeah. He was, yes. not, he was the black guy. He was the black guy. It'll go down from here. We're gonna talk about Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, don't you boo? They don't like Star Wars. Good night. I, I see how it is. They don't like. You're just gonna leave me? All these stretches. That's fair. That's fair. Um, are there spoilers? Like, probably. Probably. <laughs> it's another no, like like We talked about Star Wars dolls. I'm ready. So. Please. Oh, All right. So, Please. Um, the, the new Star Wars uh, movie has been very controversial in the media. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest uh, talking points people had is saying that it's like too feminist. What? So, what? Yeah. Wow. People no, that. Or that like. I don't like there are girls in the movie. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Some edits, about Mad Max. Yeah, and replace them with tauntauns. And in China, the movie actually was really, really uh, really uh, the culture. Wait, 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 what are you saying? In China, the movie was released, uh, removed from theaters early, uh, and the, the movie that like surpassed it or took over it was like just a romantic comedy. Oh. So I guess the question is, did you like it? Mm -hmm. Did you like it? <laughs> Wait, hold on, I, now I'm going to All right, here we go. Do it. So, look, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you like this is. Oh my God, I've been preparing this document for five months. Fire when ready. Right, so, here's the problem. The content was there, but the pacing was not. Mm. So, like, th let's let's think about this for a second. I'm gonna do a run through of like the whole movie in like five minutes. So let's go. <laughs> so, all right. All right. Timer setting. Okay. So, <laughs> I, everybody here has seen it, right? Yes. Oh, no. No. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here! I said go, but he said I have my hand up the second it goes down, that means the spoilers are over. So go ahead. Okay, go okay. So look, we all know that Ray was gonna go look for Luke because that's where it left off on the Force Awakens. Mm -hmm. So and obviously Luke is going through some severe PTSD because he totally fucked boring, up with Ben yeah. Solo, right? Uh -huh. So now we get I like the fact that they played with a different perspective, kinda like what with Akira Kurosawa's movie <laughs> did a while back where it was like it was from Luke's perspective, it was from Ben's perspective. I'm gonna stop you for a second, because don't forget, you're trying to get to your point, not to... Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah. but it's like, okay. What a nice guy. But anyways, but <laughs> I think the, pro the main problem with this movie was that, like, they were trying to fit too much into such a limited amount of time. Preach! Because uh, I mean, think about it, like, the, the casino scene, the like, whole casino story arc on the side, right? Oh, Let's admit, that was irrelevant. Let's oh, admit, the only reason why it was there was because, okay, I will admit that that did good with, like, development for the characters, but other than that, it was like, shit. They cared more about saving the horses than the kids. <laughs> And then they also push the back where it's like towards the end of the movie, suddenly Ray's able to lift rocks. Like, how long did it take for Luke to learn the entire force? Like, that's the more reason why I can't buy that one. So, it seems like they're not developing her. So I imagine you're not going to touch on the actual feminist part. It's kind of feminist. She's got three minutes still. The argument I've heard is that because the male characters in a movie make five minutes, my women's, that, that means that Oh, like uh, that's foul. That's hey, the argument ever. I'm gonna actually let everybody go before oh, me because I'm gonna go all kinds of real here. An hour to kill before the uh, what, <laughs> what am I speaking on? The feminism or the movie? Yes. 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 One. Exactly. Anyone who's played D&D knows that plans fail. Yup. Yup. So, your plan failed. I'm actually just glad to see a movie not work. Some shit didn't work. And you know what? They tried to improv and the guy was an asshole. I'm actually fine with that. No, okay, I was okay with that, though. Okay, as far as fucking Ray lifting rocks, she is a goddamn Cylon or some shit. She was able to fuck... No, I, I know what I said. Fuck you. <laughs> but 
she has always, she has always been able to do miraculous shit really fast. She's been able to learn really fast about the fucking force. Okay, so the very fact that she moved all the rocks, okay. Took Luke forever, but he's an asshole. It took him a she, movie and a half. Okay. Same amount of time as so Ray. So, motherfucker, who cares? <laughs> I'm supporting you, damn it. Yeah, man, yeah sorry. Michael, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I didn't care because it made sense to me because she is very, like, in tune with the force. Yeah. So, the very fact that she can do that really quick, cool. Cool. All right, about the feminism part, girls can do things. <laughs> they can. They can. Oh, the girls can do a lot of things, and girls did things in this movie. Cool. That's what the end of this story. Did you see the last one? Right? All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh shit. Fire when ready. All right. The real question is, why are people calling this feminist in the first place? Why is it suddenly that you know just a couple of women in there, and I? Why are they calling this the finding standard? The reason why is because there is this concept that is plaguing everywhere, that this is a new thing. Mm -hmm. People are talking about like, ah, oh, finally there's a woman representation. Okay, Ray was the female character in the last one, and before that, you had Alien. And before, and like, before that, like, this is, we've had plenty of movies and sci-fi movies right. in space with women as the main yeah. character, and they made money. Yeah. But we keep playing it like it's a thing Voyager. we do over and over again. And let me tell you, the number one, it's a sort of sidetrack, but it's true and it's coming up. The number one movie that fucks this up and got it the most wrong is coming out soon. Black Panther. They're saying, oh, finally a black man takes the center stage in a Marvel movie. This is not even the first Marvel movie featuring a black man. And the one that did put them on the map. It was Blade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Tell me, what movie came before Blade from Marvel? You ready for this? Fantastic Four. Did you even know there was another Fantastic Four movie? Yes. You know what was before that? I have to make one every time. Captain year America. And another Captain America. Spider Man came afterwards. X Men, afterwards. Guardians of the Galaxy afterwards. Deadpool, a guy swinging around a sword, shooting people and calling people motherfucker. That happened first in Blade. And you know that Ryan Reynolds knew that because he was in Blade. <laughs> he was in Blade Trinity. Okay, but fucking Black Panther, like, I'm we really hyped for this fucking movie. I'm sitting oh, here every time. I'm hyped as shit, but people are saying, oh, Marvel's being so progressive when everybody should be saying, because why didn't you do it again? Well, because, why did it take wait, 20 years? Wait, Blade was... The black guy. Yeah. He was, yes. not, he was the black guy. He was the black guy. Black Panther, there is a lot of black people. Yes. The black guy. Black Panther, there is a lot of black people with names, thoughts, and they're not fucking And a country. Slaves. You are so sick of seeing a movie. It's not wrong. Ah! That's either the oh. black guy, or there's a bunch of them because they're slaves or struggling or kunta or what the fuck ever. <laughs> right. oh. Smart oh. man. Oh. 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 Country was oh. oh. black. My, my point black though. Black my point though. How many oh. hulks are the there? Movie Too the many. Time. And it will. <laughs> Yeah, like, and, and I agree, it's gonna be a damn good movie, yeah. but we gotta stop talking about it like, oh man, they're carrying the mantle and they're taking us there, when I'm sitting there saying, you should have taken this there years ago. You should have thought of this way before you thought of doing, a or before you started doing the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. Not that I don't love it, I love the shit out of it. But let's just be real, who knew about it before the movie came out? There you go. So, so then again, I guess touche. A lot of people didn't know about Black Panther either. But so, so what you're saying is you. you I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know about Black Panther. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is you can't wait for DC to ruin Static Shock. Wow. No. no! Oh, I watched that. Oh, that was oh, that's that's so so wait a fucking minute. I'm a Everyone fuck knows check. DC no, you're not. has good television shows because Static yeah. Shock and the WD yeah. was lovely. Yeah. Right? Yes. yes. Just Marvel makes, makes great movies. Wait, that too. Like, wait, television wait television hold up. Everyone knows. That. Wouldn't you just hold on? Just your opinion of this. What if they made a Static Shock series, but they Luke caged it up? You know. It's called Black Lightning. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, it exists. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's gonna be good, Arden? 
Black Lightning? Yeah, I haven't seen much of it. I haven't seen it, but I, I, I didn't actually like Luke Cage that much. Ron no! Tomatoes gave it 100%. It had pacing issues. He was, good or bad? He, he stopped the villain at the end. Yeah, when the, oh, when the yeah, main the villain, 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 villain be, yeah. One, when they changed the villain and the main villain became a goddamn Green Power Ranger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Nah, my dude, he's right. That movie is that. Why you I just like the girl, theme huh? of that series. Oops. Like, the cops were so desperate to kill that black man or shoot him, they got special bullets. Yep. Damn, that's messed up. That's what happened. That's what happened. The that's cops the, were yeah. so desperate to shoot this nigga, they yeah. got special yeah. bullets. Wow. Those they cops seem- were basically those people in the infomercials that can't fucking <laughs> put eggs together. Oh shit, I can't shoot this guy. He's not dying. <laughs> Don't Why can't I do it? It happens. Is a black guy stealing your shit? You don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> You ever had that problem? <laughs> <laughs> time of the day! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 what? Oh, say, no. say it, say it. Uh, okay, so I'm glad that Pierce made the topic because I, I haven't seen the newest Star Wars film. I saw the one previous to it, and based on that one, I decided not to see the next one because what Pierce touched on is, I think, uh, uh, once again, a toxic culture in Hollywood. I think that they keep putting out uh, movies that, that like, seem like, like painting women and black people as, and other minorities as the underdog mm-hmm. and when they don't need to be and painting things as like progressive when really it's just like we're kind of like letting you have this I guess and a lot of elements that, like that are supposed to draw people in are, are, are there from the perspective of oh people like this this will sell stuff not from an art is not from an artist perspective at all Yep. And so these movies just don't have any like real level of, of depth to them. They don't they don't have like a real purpose that that isn't gone through so many layers of editing or anything. It's, so it's, it's very difficult. It's it is. It's 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 pandering. It's, it's it market based social commentary. Exactly. exactly. Yes. Yes. And, 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 yes. And, so, yes. So the crazy. only movie I've ever seen do tokenism right was Cats Don't Dance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I also can speak on it. Okay, please. Because I used to work in market research for movies. Yeah, that one was... U.S. movies are not created to please California, New York, or any of the uh, liberal areas. They are created to please the Midwest. When you ever do a market research on a movie, they're looking for Caucasian males and females between the ages of 16 to 35. Needs more corn. Now, <laughs> what's happening nowadays the is, what is for corn. what's happening nowadays is what no. happened in the 80s, no. where movies that feature, let's say, minorities and women are making money. Back in the 80s, black people made our own fucking movies. They made money, so major corporations started taking it over, and they did the fucking Justin Timberlake thing and just kind of put a white guy on the top. They did. <laughs> God. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Or you, or you, you, you waited for a landy to leave for that one, didn't or you? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> so, so what we're seeing right now is we're seeing instead of the grassroots movement creating these movies and making a good movie, yeah. like the Wayne's, I uh, was gonna say the Wayne's movie. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. But anyway, it still happens. But right now they're saying, well, it's making money. Yeah. Yep. Women are going to buy more ticket sales. It's more ticket sales. So yes, it is all about pandering and making money. But if you want to see more of these movies being made, these type of movies need to be made and supported no. if you like them. No, yeah. no, no. Like you don't need to support uh, an industry that isn't making anything for anyone else. They're making it for themselves to make money. Even if they're every movie ever made is business, business, though. Yeah, yeah. But but, but why is there another business. Fifty Shades sequel? Because why? white why? women in Nebraska watched it. Because people Why, why is there no Tyler Perry, Perry presents Medea Ghost in the Justice League? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about Tyler Perry? Fifty Shades of Grey is poorly written smut. Yeah, I wrote that. Like, it's it's like, suicide, suicide <laughs> awareness is an like, important yeah, thing, yeah, and, and being yeah, aware yeah, of yeah, how yeah, that yeah, 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 is yeah, important. But it doesn't mean you should watch 13 Reasons Why and support and say that they should make more things like this. Andrew Landy doesn't like the Fifty Shades sequel. Oh, he loves Why would I like it, period? <laughs> we need <laughs> more bondage in the Midwest. That's it. Yes. Also, I guess, they're, I guess they're sexually frustrated. Also, country girls make do. <laughs> <laughs> but to continue to beat your original point, there's another reason why we have seen still a lot of whitewashing in America is because China is a big 
cor is a big in amount of money, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And they consume a lot of shit. And China has like only so many foreign movies are going to get into our country this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so whenever you put either the wrong Asian or a non-white person in a movie, like unfortunately the last tough crowd I was on, fucking Ghost in the Shell. That's right. Yeah, I remember that. It doesn't get approved. So you make a, like half the money you make. But that's the same reason why a movie like the Warcraft movie is getting a sequel because it did well in China. Yeah. And they cast China. China. They cast the people. So it's it's evil. I'm not gonna tell you the movie industry is not evil. I'm saying <laughs> I've accepted this evil and I hope that they continue to make good things so they'll their evil makes me feel better. Yeah. So you can still fit good stuff in, yeah, into an evil yeah. machine. I, I, I think that, that, that you can't like get rid of it. Like, there's going to be popular movies and they're going to be made in this factory type way. And that's like some level of that you have to accept. But I think that eventually it'd be nice if it sort of went the way of music where music you have all this pop stuff that is available to everyone and is obvious and in your face. But there's so much other stuff out there and resources out there available on the internet and, and music is so much, uh, it, it's less expensive to, to get into and make and produce your own stuff yeah, that there's uh, lots of different communities and, and different <coughs> genres. So the not everyone is forced to buy into the one whatever's popular anymore for music. And that has allowed different levels of it to exist. That allows the popular level, the, the like pandering level of music to exist. <laughs> And the level of like actually good music for people who, who want to get into it deeper. And movies don't have that yet, really. There's still just the theater where you, you there's some art theaters, but, yeah, but ne yeah, but Netflix makes sh pandering shit too. So yeah. it's, a it's, it's a difference in budget, though. Like, but, uh, so when you find yourself free. being more pandering than amateurs, when you find yourself like when you have like little rising stars of movies are making actually better movies with actually more intelligence and better writing than a lot of the big producers, then something's wrong. Ooh. Yeah. Like, the fact that like, the Dragon Ball. I mean, we are getting our representation sold out to China. Mm. That's a problem. That's a really big problem, yeah. and, the fact, and and we're the more wealthy country, and the more country that is more yeah. oriented toward uh, to, with movies that uh, whole country. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm saying that this is how <laughs> it is a bad. I guess I guess in the name of the, in the end, yes, it's a bad culture. It's a bad business. We hope it gets better. Yeah. Next topic. Yeah. And uh, oh, stop it? Never and, and to answer the yeah, question yeah, I asked at the very beginning of this topic, I thought it was okay. It was a decent movie. I mean, not great, but, but not bad. <laughs> I, I guess. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's okay.